Hey guys, it's Gadget, and it's 11.16 on 10.26, right? I know, this one's late, the other one was late last night, but what can you do when you have a life to take care of, you know? Well, let's see. I continue. I started last night with friendships, romance, or anything. Tonight I found the word bully. Now, a bully. Because I'm going to talk about, like I said, the three years I was being bullied by Grey Warren's friends, as well as the fact that being bullied your whole life makes you turn into a bully and that's what I think Gravelorn has turned into or he just wants to follow in the footsteps of the bullies and everything because like I said ever since I've blocked him back a few months ago the only way I know what's going on is if anyone from over there calls me and it's been rare and few but like I said a couple of days ago or a week ago um a British girl called me and was getting sick and tired of the way everything was been dealing with and everything. That was the last information I had and everything because I was very shocked and my chair is falling because, you know, you give people enough credit, you think they actually have a raised right and everything, but his mother should be smacking the hell out of him for the way he treats people. And all your other mothers should be saying they didn't raise children like you, but then again, I see what they raise out there in the UK. You had a kid who thought that women can hold in their periods. So yeah. So I looked up again things on here. Now, a bully. A person who uses strength or power to harm or intimidate those who are weaker. Well, presumably weaker. Cinnamon. Persecutor, oppressor, tyrant, tormentor, intimidator. Uses a verb. Use superior strength or influence to intimidate someone, typically to force him or her to do what one wants. A local man was bullied into helping them. Boy, that sounds like Gravehorn. Okay. So, basically, there's a site like um, School Stop Bullying, What is Bullying, Stop Bullying.gov. Right? I think you guys need a lesson in what you guys have been doing to me. So here is what they say is the stopbullying.gov, okay? The definition of bullying, okay? So, bullying is unwanted, aggressive behavior among school-aged children. Well, they could say a few adults. Uh, that involves a real or perceived power of imbalance. The behavior is repeated or has the potential to be repeated over time. Both kids who are bullied or who will bully others may have serious lasting problems. Okay? In order to be considered bullying, the behavior must be aggressive enough to include an imbalance of power. Kids who bully and use their power, such as physical strength, access, access to embarrassing information or popularity, to control or harm others. Power to imbalance and can change over time and in different situations, even if they involve the same person. Repetition. Re repetition repetition okay bullying behavior happens more than once or has been a potential to happen more than once okay types of bullying there are three types now this is what's happened to me ever since grave worn and everything and stuff I have had the verbal bullying and that is basically saying or writing mean things Verbal bullying includes teasing, name-calling, inappropriate sexual comments, taunting, threatening to cause harm. Huh. Skywalker. On my YouTube, you put something derogatory towards Gravehorn about that in a sexual comment. And then you've threatened to rip me a new one telling my friends and everything. And also telling me things in posts and everything that I have copies of, thanks to the UK police. Hmm. And also name calling. Be a good girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that one goes on Grayborn. Social bullying, sometimes referred to as re retaliation bullying, involves hurting someone's reputation or relationships. <gasps> Skywalker! Hmm. Every time you kept saying that I wasn't allowed to be with Grayborn and everything, you had no right. Why would you bully that? That's Grayborn's choice, not yours. Okay, let's see. Leaving someone out on purpose. Huh, you guys never got to know me. You left me out of all your conversations and everything. Spreading rumors about someone. Yeah, you guys called me, um, what did the girl on the phone say? A The East Coast witch? Okay, 
or the Wicked Witch of the East. I don't know. Just that I'm only going to leave it at that because you guys can play with that one and find out which one of your friends ratted you out. Uh, let's see. Embarrassing someone in public. Yeah, um, telling everybody that I'm a gold, comedy gold and everything, and that these are rabbit ears, but they are cat ears. Hmm. Let's see. Physical bullying involves hurting someone's person, personal space, body possessions. Okay? You guys haven't done that to me because you guys are over there. Okay? So, basically, two out of the three that I've been going through for the last three years with you guys. Calling me every name in the book, calling me a crazy bitch, calling me all this stuff. Hmm. Taunting me. Interesting. See, I put this on here because I'm documenting my life story and everything. This is my life. This is what's been going on each day of my life. And for three years, you guys did it. Luke did it within, um, it's going on two years now. But a year, like, like basically when Christopher finally had made me the girlfriend. But like I said, guys. You guys like to only watch certain ones and everything. You guys don't know the whole story. And I wish you would know the whole story because right now, I'm telling you right now, I got tired of his lies and everything. Fool me once, shame on, on, on me. Fool me, you know what? That's expression, right? I couldn't take it anymore. And yeah, that's it. You succeeded in getting, bullying me out of it. But it wasn't bullying, guys. It was my choice to leave him. It was my choice. Because you don't know the whole story. I told him if he fucked it up, when he came back in, in 2015, we were done. But I at least give him a chance to, to explain why he fucked it up. But it clearly, by his actions and everything, he sided with the bullies. Because he didn't want to lose his status. And that's sad, because he's not going to grow up then. And he had potential. Let's see... Let's find something else. This is, let's see. Oh, look, here's cyberbullying. Let's see. Text messages and emails and rumors sent, like you did on my YouTube. Interesting. Hmm. And I did everything. I reported cyberbullying. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. That is so interesting. Hmm. Cyberbullying that takes place by using electronic technology. Text messages or emails. Hmm. Did not know that was included too. I've got to check that out because i got to find where all those wonderful emails that Luke sent me. Hmm. Or those wonderful junk mail ones you guys kept sending me that said .co.uk. Guys, I ain't the bully here. I ain't the slanderer here. You guys are. You guys don't want to admit it, but now that you're caught, you're all running scared. And I don't fucking care. Get on with your lives and leave me alone. Gravehorn has until my birthday to explain why he turned into an ass. Okay? Because I love how he goes to conventions and he's not in pain. I love when I was there, he's not in pain. But he's manipulating you guys where, where, where on basically live feeds. I'm losing my tooth. I'm this. He's done the tooth thing before with me, guys. I've been there, okay? He also called me at like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning my time because he's on the floor crying in pain because he can't get to the hospital. Why don't you ask his dad about that one? His dad came in on it, okay? Guys, get all the facts, get all the stories straight. Because you know what? You don't know all of it. And I'm tired and sick of this. But you guys can all live in your la-la land. Because you know what? Eventually... It's going to hit him like a ton of bricks to the point where he's never going to recover and you guys are going to deal with it. Not my problem anymore. It would be nice to have my friend back who I originally met three years ago who wasn't a stingy bastard who let his friends bully him into letting me leave because he can't decide what he wants from his life. Because people keep trying to out him on things or make up stories about him. Hmm. I didn't make up any stories. I reported the facts. I called the UK police. You hear that, Claire Bear? I called the UK police. So why don't you call me or talk to your parents about what's going on? You only met me twice. Okay? 
Told you, you people have got to stop this. All right. So, bullying. Hmm. Okay. Besides, otherwise, say I had a good day. I went to work, and I had a. Oh, he was cute, but old enough to be my kid. Hit on me. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, I had an, um, one of those nurses tell me that um, sometimes people who take tramadol, it uh, acts like uh, birth control because it also changes your hormone structure and everything. No wonder the police officer asked me a question about something. But yeah, it's here nor there. But um, otherwise, I had a good day. And I like the facts because everyone doesn't think I'm going to be 40. He thought I was it was in my like early 30s. I wanted to hug that kid. Dad lives in Ireland. Okay? You know? He was very cute and everything. I really would have, you know? But he probably has already... He's old enough to be my kid and adorable. And if he is watching these, and I am sorry I mentioned you, but um, if you're around that age and everything, I might be able to hook you up with some of my other friends if you hang out or anything. But, you know? And basically, you know, he was a nice guy and everything. You know? He basically is what you want in a friend and everything. Like, the, the example it could be, like, a nice person, you know, to get to know somebody that starts out nice. We don't, like, you know what I mean? But then, like, like certain people, over time, the true colors come out, okay? I love the fact that I was going to stay if Graveborn wanted to work this out, if he wanted to pursue this. But he didn't have to prejudge it before I got there. Thank you guys for that. You can't fall in love in three weeks. He started to come around and was so happy, and then I went home. Then he thought I was coming back. No, it doesn't work that way. You treat me like garbage? I ain't coming back. No disrespect to his parents. I would have loved to have been out there. But why am I going to get treated and belittled every time I'm out there? And none of you want to get to know me. Because you have your own uh, selfish acts and everything that you do. Because you already prejudged me to begin with. And that's wrong. That's why I don't understand you people. You think it's a game. But you're old enough to be adults. So I said this. Three by three by three. What you do to me will happen to thee. It won't probably happen now. But I wish you all good and I wish you well. Because you will go to hell. Someday. Because of all the lies you guys tell. All the jokes you think you're funny, everything else. Because you're going to mess with the wrong person one day. Me, it doesn't bother me. It's sad that I don't have my friend anymore. But he was a lying bastard just like some of my other friends. I've got two-faced friends too. I know they are. i got friends that use me. Okay? It's just I know where they stand. Because when they get desperate enough, they call me. Because no one else will be with them. But here's the difference. I'm learning to get rid of those. And I wish Graveborn would see that too. Because you got rid of the wrong people. But I love that you like to lie through your teeth. Because I have all those documents. I have the Facebook documents. I have the... What else? I have the, e the, the paper I showed yesterday. Where is it? Where is it again? Do I have it still under here? No, I put it back under here. Let's see, do I put it back? Yes, I do. His ESTA paper. Guys, see? He was supposed to be here. May. Okay? He was supposed to be here for my graduation. Now, if Graveborn didn't want me in his life, or didn't want to be part of my life, why the hell do I have all his personal information? I only can get that if someone gives it to me. So, Graveborn, you're caught on that. So, you either have to tell the truth... Because I will start reading all this out one day. Including your passport number. If you piss me off anymore, guys. I will also go down and dig here to find all the paperwork with his social security number and everything else. How did I get that? Unless he gave it to me. Because I was supposed to be helping him with stuff. Boy, you guys, I wish you knew the whole story. I wish he'd stop lying. But guys, here's the thing. He has till my birthday to fix this. To tell the truth. Because if you guys are claiming what he is and trying to out him, that's on you guys. It just then proves to me that he was lying through his teeth and he was lying to all of you. 
And I'm free and clear of this. Because I have no guilt. Do you understand me, guys? I'm tired of the games. I'm tired of thinking you know what's best for him when he has a brain in his head. Okay? I'm tired of the bullies. I'm tired of the lies because look at what I got. I got all his information right here on that. You know what? Maybe I should find the rest of it down here. The Graveborn file, I call it. But that's here, no there. Okay? And I love the fact that there is 37 views on one of my other um, vlogs. Which means, you guys, I must have hit a nerve. Okay? I'm telling you guys this right now. Stop with the lies. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with everything. This is my life. And I told you, I'm writing a book about my trip. And trust me. If I, I wish I could write the book about what's going on now. Because you know what? It might be an afterthought in the book. On how all of you decided to bully me. And all of you started to spread lies and rumors. And all the stuff about everything that that girl, wonderful girl, spilled to me about him. Let's see. Now, let's see. Like I said, she sounded older. She had to be, like, I say, not northern accent, not southern. Like, I don't know how England works with that and everything. But it didn't sound like a northern accent like Christopher's. And it didn't sound like the southern accent like when we were down in the south. Okay? So, whatever accent that was... Basically, oh, I love her. I want to hug her. She told me about how Luke has been still stalking my page and bullying me. She has told me about how there are so many people saying I'm the Wicked Witch of the East or bitch or whatever you want to call it and everything. Because somehow he lost a girlfriend or a friend because of my YouTube. Now, YouTube is public. This is my my life story. Okay. I was supposed to be vlogging while I was out there, but because he kept me so round up and wound up and everything and fighting twice with him and everything because he just left me there for other things. I could have just stayed home, guys. Saved his parents money. Okay? He wanted me out there, so don't let him lie about that one. Okay? So let's see. Let's see, the videos that his teeth are falling out, that I'm being blamed for somebody leaving him when I blocked him and didn't even know because, oh wait, sorry, there was a girlfriend I found out because some little girl called me with a southern accent right after I had blocked him. Okay, fine and great. So if that's the girl that left, you know what? People are different because if people, if you guys did to that person what you did to me, it's a wonder people leave him and why he clings to the bad ones and not the good ones. Okay? I sit there and wonder what goes through all your heads. But just love this girl. How basically it's one of his friends on his page that lives out there because she did claim she lived out there and frequently sees him at the conventions. Okay? And she's also seen my YouTube because she felt that when she had to call me those two times to fill me in on everything, I didn't know if it was a trap or if it was basically the fact that someone actually does get tired of him whinging and whining because that's manipulation on your, you guys too. He cries, you guys run to him like a drop of a hat or a drop of a dollar. That's how greedy you guys are based on what else she has told me. Because, um, let me out a little secret, because she seems that you guys didn't like me because I had no money. Or you thought I wasn't good enough. Hmm. How can you tell if I'm not good enough for somebody if you're only hearing one side of the story from someone who's lying through his teeth? Okay, karma's a bitch. As well as the fact that you don't want to talk with me. Especially Luke, who didn't want to talk with me, who kept trying to kick me out of Graveborn's life from a year and a half ago. Hey, buddy, it doesn't work that way. That's why I said, I wish you good with your wife, but when someone does it to you, I hope you understand why I'm pissed off at everything. I'm not slandering anybody, so I don't know where you guys are getting that from, okay? Because this is all public record. 
If I was doing anything wrong, YouTube would have shut me down a while ago and not blocked you guys for all the slandering you did. Or do you guys want me to go back through these and read every one of them, especially Luke's? You guys can go back. They're public knowledge. I just sit here and laugh my ass off because of how you guys think of things. And then I go to myself, they'd never survive in New York. They would never survive here. I give you guys one day here to try to survive. Paycheck to paycheck. Wondering if you got food in the fridge. Hoping there's a job where no one will help you. Living credit card to credit card. You know? I wonder. Or trying to navigate the streets. Or dealing with trains and buses and everything. Not like out there. Okay? We don't have this thing where out there you have to stay to one side of the railing and people come down the, oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and guess what? You're fighting with canes and everything to get up there because there it, sometimes there's no elevator to get upstairs. It's actually safer to take the stairs. Okay? You guys would never survive here. And that's why it bugs you about me because you couldn't manipulate me. Guys, you didn't bully me into leaving him. I left because one, I got tired of the lies that I caught you all in. And two, I said to him, if he lied to me again, or if he tried to side with you guys one more time and twisted, we were done. And because Facebook had so many of you blocked because of all the derogatory things you said about me, because I've only typed with you guys, I've never talked with you guys, and that's on your parts, I'm waiting for the ones who come up here to New York. Because you know what? I met some of you, and you guys seemed very nice. But to turn on me, the ones I did meet, never again will you grace my doorway. Your own karma, your own judgments will dictate how your life is. Because I don't have to bully you guys. You're going to do it to yourselves by your own hand and your own actions. And I'm seeing it right now when people are calling me to tell me that he's manipulating you guys every time he cries. Or one minute he's happy, the next minute he's sad. Hmm, who's bipolar? But that's here nor there. That's alleged. See, I just covered my own ass. Because, guys, I'm not slandering him. I'm going based on actions and things that were out there. As well as my notes I took down for the trip because that was my journal. That was the first time I ever took a trip. Out of the United States. And thank you all for ruining that one. Because I was expecting to meet all of you and confront all of you. And find out why... If you've never met me, do you all hate me? If I am supposed to be his best friend, but he would leave and come back four times, and one of the times was, okay, grandfather, that's why he came back four times. And then he makes me the girlfriend, and everyone is so happy, right? His parents are happy. He's not in pain. He's doing whatever, right? And then he disappears five days before the trip, fucks it all up, and then I'm the bad guy because you guys are slandering him because I left? Because he's crying to you about lies that he's told? Because I was tired of you guys bullying me? Because you wanted me out of his life? Well, guess what? If he ends up dead by your hands, not mine, because I washed my hands of him, would one of you be respectful enough to give me a phone call? I don't think so. Right now, I am pissed and I hate him. And he knows I don't hate anything. So for me to say it, and I hate all of you, guess what level I am at right now? And why I'm holding back, not tears of being sad, but angry tears.
because I don't scream. I'm holding back because you guys see that as a ploy. That now she's belittling us. Now she's... No, 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 no. I'm stating facts and what phone calls I got. Now, if I get another phone call, it gets hung up on. Okay? I'm tired of him lying. I'm tired of you guys lying. I'm tired of you only hearing half the truth. There are people who know the whole truth. Okay? Claire Bear, why don't you ask one of your friends that's on Christopher's page? What is her name? I think Winthrop was the last name. Why don't you... Maybe I should read it, but she said, please don't tell me. But you know what? I might respect her wishes. Maybe Claire Bear should ask her and Gravehorn should ask her what she wrote. Because if she denies that, then I will read that out. Because you know what? If people actually did want me and him together, it would have been nice to explore that and get to know him and everything. And gone out there every year to meet everybody and to hang out and stuff. But you guys ruined that. And now you're left with, according to this girl who called me, who refused to, to name anything, but she named everybody's wives and everything else, like Andrea and this, the, uh, I can't say her name because then you guys think I'm going to be bullying her because she's the one that called me the crazy bitch, but that's okay. Or she's basically like one of the girls that on the phone jealous, but that's okay. They're children. You guys are 20 years old. You're children. You're babies. I'm going to be 40. I'm old enough to be your mom. So don't disrespect someone who's old enough to be your parent. That's just wrong. Okay? Here, we get an ass whooping if we did that. Okay? But out there, it seems that you guys are like, that's okay. You know? Mm -mm. Shouldn't be that way. Let's see what else we can find about bullying. Let's see. Bullying. Let's see. Teenagers. Bullying. Let's see. Bullying. Causes and effects of bullying. Types of bullying. Hmm. Let's see what it says. Bullying as an adult. Oh, my nose is running. And where is there a tissue? Good thing I can. I don't have to be in work until later. <laughs> and I don't care if I'm gross or not. You all think this is a joke and everything? <laughs> Try living my life. Let's see. You get hit. You get cigarette burned, you get cursed out, you get hair ripped out of your head, you get told that people are bad, you're told that you're stupid because of dyslexia, you're told all this stuff. And then when you're dating, you get pushed down a flight of stairs because you won't kiss somebody, you get smacked in the face, you get um, domestic violence. Gee, I wish you guys actually talked to me about things. Okay? Then you get kept in the shadows, and mm -mm, that's all my exes. Some of them actually went to jail because of what they did to me. Some of them went ghost, so they wouldn't get caught by the police. Let's see, what is adult bullying? What is adult bullying? Okay. It says, let's see. While adults are more likely to use verbal bullying as opposed to physical bullying, the fact of the matter is adult bullying exists. The goal of an adult bully is to gain power over another person and make them himself or herself the dominant adult. They try to humiliate victims and show them who's boss. What you guys did to me. You kept trying to humiliate me at every point. Even Grave One when he lied through his teeth about everything. Like when you guys laugh at me and say I'm comedy gold. Or that I'm slandering him. That's bullying, guys. People are different. People don't put up with what you guys do. Okay? They may put up with it out there and everything, but you know what? Let's see. Bullying statistics. Let's see. How many are there? Let's see. Oh, wow. 
this is a good site. This one says, let's see. You may not hear a lot about adult bullying, but it's a problem. Read the article to learn more about the different types of adult bullies and get some ideas on how to deal with adult bullying. Adult bullying is a serious problem and may require legal action. Oh, yeah, that's like me calling the cops here in the UK. And what else? Uh, getting a lawyer. Hmm. Okay. So I covered my bases. Okay. One would think that as people mature and progress through life, they would stop behaviors of their youth. I don't think you guys did. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Sadly, adults can be bullies just as children and teenagers can be bullies. While adults are more likely to use verbal bullying as opposed to physical bullying, the fact of the matter is that adult bullying exists. See? Tells the truth. The goal of an adult bully is to gain power over another person and make him or herself the dominant adult. Boy, Luke, that sounds like what you do to Gravehorn. Huh. The way you even said to me on about how you have to take care, like, how, where, you know what, let me find where that email is that you sent me. Let me see if it's still on Facebook and read yours because that's the thing. Let's see, let me go back to this, let me go to this and let's see if we can find it and read it. I might have archived it so I wouldn't lose it. Load older threads. Let's see. Let me try LU. Let's see, I might have archived it. Let's try under another one. I might have archived it. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, come on, you damn thing. Facebook's being slow today. And I'll finish reading that article once I find it. Okay. I must have archived it. Let me see if it's in the archives. Archived. Let's see if it's there. L U K. Hmm. Hmm. Twelve twenty one fifty three. No, let's see. I'm trying to find all of them because I archived grave ones. I archived. Trying to see when you bullied me. I know I have that's fourteen June twenty fourteen. Hmm, unless I have it in the regular one. No, there's Christopher's. Archived him. The last time, yeah, last time I did was the August twenty second. That's when I blocked him. So let's see. Has to be around. Let's see. Hmm. I have to find that one because I know I archived a few of them. Maybe under filter. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I had to arc filter some of them because of everybody how they were. Let's see. Yeah, like Rachel's and all the other ones. I'll find it. You know what? I'm going to go back and look at it again. 
I'll go look on my phone. I have it screenshotted on my phone. Let's see. Da, 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 da. But while I'm looking for it on my phone, let me finish reading that wonderful thing about adult bullying. Okay, so let's see. I have archives on here. I just got to look for when all this was going on for the lawyer. So let's see, that was during August, September, October, August. Let's see. When all this was going on, July. I came back. Okay, that was June. Okay, July. Let's see, July 22nd, July 19th. Let's see if I can find all the wonderful, let's see. And I screenshotted it because the lawyer needed it. This one, I'm sorry guys for being this long and everything. Let's see. Okay, so basically, where is it? Part of it is that. That's that one. That's the Rika one. Okay, so the one I have, let's see. It says, let's see, this was on September 15th, to, no, September 29th, 2015. So I have to look for that one. Okay, September 29th, 2015 in my messages. All right, so I have to go through all that because I have a ton of stuff. I got an archive. Got to archive that, archive that, archive that. Okay, let's see. So I'm looking for September 29th, 2015. So it is about one year, a little more than whatever. So let's see. So I need to find that one. Okay. 13, 15, 14. 14, 14, 13, 14. This thing never alphabetizes any of this garbage. Okay, February of 16, 11, 11, 10. Search older messages. You know what? Let me look up using this. Hold on. Okay. It's basically the gist of the message that I got was, Hello, I'm someone who knows... CF in real life. I'm not going to say his full his last name. Your video has me just has been just sent to me via another school friend. I feel you're very much misunderstand Chris. You seem to think he's some kind of player stud. Just proves the internet is a very powerful thing. He is a 32 year old unemployed man living at home with his parents in the middle of nowhere who in the 26 years I've known him has never been with a woman. Why the hell would you actually send me that Luke? 
Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of it because you basically bash him in the rest of this. Okay, but that was on September 29, 2015. So, Luke, are you going to deny that one? Okay. Because, like I said, I sit here and I wonder about everything. I'm looking for 2015. Let's see. I guess so that one finally... Oh, it time, timed itself out or someone... Oh, you know why? It seems I found out from that girl that you created a new profile, Luke. That's why I don't have it. Okay, I forgot about that. When someone deletes their profile and then creates a new one, that's how I lose certain messages. I forgot about that. So, let's see. Maybe that's what it is? Let's see. Let me keep checking back and all this. Let's see. October 6, 2015. Let's see, no. Facebook user. Let's see. Huh, there was a Facebook user that I spoke to on July 31st. Okay, and then there was another one. Hmm. When was this one? Oh, that's right. When I was talking to Christopher about... On January 3rd, right before he announced it when... Okay, that's what that one is. Okay, that's something different. That's something different. That one was me trying to explain to him again how everyone just keeps bullying me and stuff. And you guys don't even see... I'm, I can't... There's a, his private emails between me and stuff, so yeah. So I'm not going to tell you that one. The only ones that are fair game are the ones that just say Facebook user. Because, you know... Because you guys deleted your accounts and everything. But that one actually was yours because it was documented on here on YouTube. You know? But basically, 26 years, Luke? 27 years? Yeah. It's interesting. But let's finish that thing about adult bullying. How long have I been talking about this? Oh, 43 minutes. That's not bad. Okay. So basically, adult bullying. Okay. There are several different types of adult bullies. And it helps to know how they operate. One is the narcissistic adult bully. This type of adult bully is self-centered and does not share empathy with others. Additionally, there is little anxiety about consequences. He or she seems to feel good about him or herself, but in reality has a brittle narcissism that requires putting others down. <gasps> That's Luke when he put me down. Okay. So let's see. Then there's the impulsive adult bullying. Now, adult bullies in this category are more spontaneous. They plan their bullying out less. Even if consequences are likely, the adult bully has a hard time restraining his or her behavior. In some cases, this type of bullying may be unintentional, resulting in periods of stress when the bully is actually upset or concerned about something unconnected with the victim. That sounds like Grayborn. Hmm. Then there's the physical bully. While adult bullying is rare, turns into physical confrontation, there are nonetheless bullies that use physicality. In some cases, the adult bully may not actually physically harm the victim, but may use the threat of harm. <gasps> like when Luke said to my friend that you wanted to rip me a new one because I was arguing with Christopher. <gasps> Interesting. 
or physical domination throughout looming. Through looming. Okay, that's stalking basically. Additionally, a physical bully may damage or steal victim's property rather than physical confrontation with the victim. Hmm. I wonder if you've done that to other people too. Not only you, Luke, but also other ones. Verbal adult bully. Words can be quite damaging. Adult bullies who use this type of tactic. Oh, all the phone calls I got cursing me out when I left Graveborn. Hmm. Start rumors about the victim. Oh, yes. Like you guys called me a crazy bitch. That I'm a lunatic. That I'm delusional. That Christopher is whatever you guys want to say about him. Yeah. Okay. So, what are we saying? Um, or use sarcastic and demeaning language to dominate or humiliate the person. Oh, you said I'm comedy gold. That I have rabbit ears on and ca instead of cat ears. That you think that... I don't know anything that my videos bother you. Got to think up here for a little bit. Um, this subtle type of bullying it also has the advantage to the bully being difficult to document. Not necessarily when my life is on video. Uh, however, the emotional and psychological impacts of verbal bullying can be felt quite keenly and result in reduced job performance and even depression. I wonder who's been doing that to Graveborn. It ain't me. Okay. Then there's the secondary adult bully. Now let's see what this is. This is someone who does not initiate. No, does not initiate. Initiate. Yeah, that's initiate. The bullying. But join. Oh, this is Graveborn. Okay. The secondary adult bullying. This is someone who does not initiate the bullying, but joins in so that he or she does not actually become the victim down the road. Secondary bullies may feel bad about what they are doing, but are more concerned about protecting themselves. Hello, Christopher! When you threw me under the bus with your friends. I should put a link to this. I should put a link to this. When I do this, I really should. You know what? I'm gonna even post it right here in my on my notes thing, so that way I have the link in case anything. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it open. I'll close. Let me close. No, you know I'll put it there just in case too. Interesting. He's called a secondary bully. All right, that's a new one to learn about. Okay. And then here's what I went through. Just recently, workplace bullying can make life quite miserable and difficult. Supervisors should be made aware of adult bullies since they can disrupt productivity, create hostile work environment, opening the company up to risk and lawsuit, and reduce morale. Now, you see, I had a lawyer from that one who advised me that I was being bullied by you guys and that I should open a case up. But after what we saw and studied, from the UK police as well as the police here, you guys are going to do yourselves in. Okay? It is important to note, though, that there is little you can do about an adult bully other than ignore and try to avoid. I did. You guys didn't make it easy. After reporting the abuse to a supervisor, this is because an adult bully, this is because adult bullies are often in a set pattern. Hmm. They are not interested in working things out. Nice to meet you, Luke. Nice to meet you, Josh. Nice to meet you, Christopher. Nice to meet you, Cariad. Nice to meet you, Gwen. Nice to meet you, Claire Bear. Nice to meet you all who seem to not want to work it out, which points that out there because that also falls under workplace also as well. Uh, let's see. They are not interested in compromise. Rather, adult bullies are more interested in power and domination. They want to feel as though they are important and preferred. And they accomplish this by bringing others down. Didn't do that to me, guys. What you did was give me enough ammo for a lawsuit because you guys want to call the police on me. I've already called the UK police and reported all this for the last, okay? I have reported this for three years, okay? So, guys, enough is enough. Be adults. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, they want to feel as though they are important, preferred. They accomplish by bringing others down. This is very little you can. This there is very little you can do to change an adult bully beyond working with the confines of the law and company regulations, as well. Let's see, regulations that are set up. The good news is that if you can document the bullying, <gasps> YouTube. The last three years with Grayborn. Okay. And Facebook. Never gets rid of anything. There are legal and civil remedies for the harassment, abuse, and other forms of bullying. But you have to be able to document the case. I can't get phone calls because of the, the law here, but I have video. I have it on record with the UK police. I have it on record here with the New York City Police Department. Hmm. Adult bullies were, offered e were often either bullies bullies as, a ch as children or bullied as children themselves. Understanding this about them, they may be able to help you cope. They may be able to help you cope with the behavior. Yeah, right. Okay. But there is little you can do about, about it beyond doing your best to ignore the bully. Report his or her behavior to the proper authorities and document instances of bullying so that you can take legal action down the road if necessary. At 12.08 a.m. on October 27, 2016... Yes, I documented. And I'm just making sure I don't hit the hour mark because I don't want to bore you guys anymore. But basically, Graveborn is a secondary adult bully. Interesting. This is very interesting. Because he wants to... Wow. Because he wants to fit in your crowd. Hmm. Because he wants to fit and deal with it. You know what I mean? He'd rather throw me under a bus to save face with you guys. Boy, yeah, that's what he did. But you guys can keep him. You guys can keep him. I'm trying to figure out why this thing's not editing right. Delete this. Save changes. It's not deleting it, so I'm going to just leave it there. All right, I'm trying to put something on Facebook, but it won't let me delete something out. I want to delete out the Facebook part or anything and stuff like that, but I'm putting this post on the YouTube when I finish this. Because, guys, I didn't cause this war with you. I don't know what Graveborn has ever said to you, and only the ones that I've been able to obtain that he twists everything. I wanted you guys to get your story straight and get to know me, and some of you did, and I commend you for that. But I don't like the fact that you guys still want to keep it up, still act like idiots and little children thinking that this is so much fun and comedy gold and all this other stuff. Like I said before, karma will be a bitch and I wish you all good and well. I have not threatened anybody. I have not slandered anybody. People react to things when people do things. I'm a different person. I stuck around because I saw potential in Grayborn. But after when he stabbed me in the back and threw me under the bus, I hate him now. And I know he watches these as well as you, Luke, and all the other ones who asked me for help and turned on me because of your own selfish and childish acts. I have this all documented and reported, and I give people the benefit of the doubt. But I am saying this right now. Graveborn either has to step up to the plate and realize what he did. Because if he does not, then he is a narcissistic person with no moral compass whatsoever to throw away three years worth of a friendship. Because he wanted to try something and you guys wouldn't let us try. Because you guys, I couldn't trust. I couldn't trust him. Because I knew he turned on me when he disappeared those five days before the trip. He was all excited for me to go out there. And you guys poisoned him again. 
So that's not fair to me. And by this universe, or dimensional things that he believes in and everything, I will say this. Karma's going to be a bitch when it comes back to you guys. And I love how when he winds on the camera, you guys jump at his feet. There have been many times I've turned the camera off on him. Okay? Because I didn't want to hear it anymore. I'm in pain. I'm in... You know what? You try walking around with a cancer lump in your knee, fibromyalgia, costochondritis, cancer here, okay? Having your relatives die of cancer, okay? And have to go to work every day and can't, you know what? Because here, you have to work. You can't sit on your ass and do nothing and be in a fugue state. I don't think any of you really want to babysit him when he's 40 years old, do you? I'm trying to find more work and everything and get the hell on with everything. But there are no jobs here. But for you guys to try to slander my pages with stuff about him, and I was trying to resolve the issue, all because he wanted to save face with you guys and became the, as we put here, the secondary adult bully, the someone who does not want to initiate the bullying, who does not initiate it, but joins in that he or she does not actually become the victim down the road, but may feel bad about it. Hmm. Interesting. This is very interesting. You know? Very interesting. Because I sit here and I wonder, does he even really know what he's doing? Or is that the tramadol? Or is that anything else you guys have been doing to him? Convincing him that I'm a bad person when you don't even know me. He knows me and he still sold me out and threw me under the bus. How much power do you have over him? What are you bullying him? What do you have on him? What are you blackmailing him with? That's the questions. I've done nothing to him. But if you guys are watching this, get your story straight. He has till my birthday to fix this. And why don't you guys pay for his plane ticket? Okay? Help his parents out. Because life is not all about games and trips and everything and stuff. Sometimes it's about forgiveness. And I forgive all of you because you know what? You can't change stupid. And I forgive you for myself because you guys don't know what you're doing. So I forgive all of you. I forgive Christopher. I forgive you, Luke. I forgive you, Josh. I forgive you, Carrie Ann, and I forgive you, Gwen. Because unless you think with your, what's going on and actually ask me, there's not much more we can say about this. If you want to keep it up, fine and great. Beat a dead horse, fine and great. But I give people timelines because my new year starts on my birthday. Because I follow the Wiccan calendar. I cast spells and I do things. And one of them is a truth spell. So I pray that you guys tell the truth. Because I needed to see the truth and the light in this situation. And I saw that Christopher threw me under the bus. For his own selfish act and becoming the secondary adult bully. Didn't put spells on any of you. Your own actions did that to yourselves. So, with this being almost an hour video. I am posting the link to this page. And I hope that maybe one day you see what you do and what you have done. And if you have no remorse or no sympathy for it or anything, if it happens in your lives, then you have no moral compass and you have nothing. You're just complete stone. So, Rayborn, you have until my birthday to fix it. And Luke, tell him the truth of these videos. Stop playing around and stop being his caretaker. Otherwise, have his parents pay you for that. All right? So, to each his own, I forgive all of you, but I hate you guys right now. It's a, it's a two-way street with me. Because that tells you how pissed off I am at the fact that you guys really lost out on knowing somebody really nice. But, to each his own, have a good night. A vida zay, whatever you guys. And I ain't slandering anybody. So, on account of this 3x3x3, three by three by three, what you do to me will happen to thee. Night, guys.